हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय मिसेस संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर अँड इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द सॉल्ड एक्झाम्पल फॉर रिकर्सिव इन ऑर्डर बायनरी ट्री ट्रॅव्हर्सल इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द रिकर्सिव्ह अल्गोरिदम फॉर द सॉल्विंग of the example the first simple example i have covered in the previous session in this session i am covering somehow complicated example before moving to the content i would like to request you to subscribe my channel tech talks and keep the bell ringing let's start with the binary tree traversal and the tree traversal in which we are going to traverse the tree is nothing but in order where we suppose to follow the order here you can see that i have mentioned the order a left node then a root node then a right node so the same order we suppose to follow so first of all let's see what is the algorithm uh, recursive algorithm for the tree traversal uh, here i have mentioned the recursive algorithm where in order function i have used i have uh, mentioned the condition that or we have to follow the condition that till the root is not equal to null we have to call the function recursively Where, while calling the function recursively as our sequence is first to process the left so that's why calling uh, the function recursively we need to pass a left child as a root node if the condition is false <coughs> that is if root is not equal to null the condition is true root is not equal to null we have to call again the same function by passing the current root node's left child as a parameter to this function this process we have to continue till the condition is true once the condition is false we have to process a root node and we have to move forward for the next statement which is nothing but a passing of a right child to the function call in order passing of the right child is nothing but making a root node again let's check whether the root is not equal to null if it is true then again call recursively the function in order by passing the current root node's left child i am going to explain you all these things in detail with the help of example so here the example uh, i am going to mention you so here you can see that this is the example we which we are going to use for the traversal of the tree in in order let's start with the uh, uh, recursive in order traversal here in this bottom portion i am going to uh, show you the in order tree traversal uh, this block every time i am going to show you because every time if you are knowing the concept of recursion every time every uh, function call is having its separate a set of variables so that all the things i am going to explain you here in the separate blocks or box so let's start the root node is 10 here because we are starting with the root node which is nothing but 10 so here root node is 10 my first step is to check whether my root is not equal to null the condition is true so my first step is to call the function recursively in order function recursively by passing the left child of root node 10 so which one is the left child of root node which is nothing but 20 so now let's see what i i, I am explaining you so this is the incomplete function call this block is not yet completed this function call is not yet completed i am moving from this function call to another function call so this another block is created by the compiler and here the same function recursively we are going to call but now what we have passed as a parameter the 20 value we have passed as a parameter which is going to become a root node in this particular block so in for this particular block which one is the root node the root node is 20 now let's start again by checking first of all the condition if my root is not equal to null the condition is true because my root is 20 move forward for the step number 1 my step number 1 is again to make a call to function in order recursively by passing the left child of 20 here you can see that what is the left child of 20 it is null no left child is present to the root node 20 so what we have to do we will call a function it will move its control from this function to the another function call but here the 
um, uh, value which we are going to pass to the function as a parameter which is going to become a root node is null so once we are at the uh, condition root is not equal to null this condition is going to become a false and it will return back from that function call and it will process the root node which is nothing but our next step now let's process a root node after processing of a root node it will get appear in this in order traversal so now let's see what is uh, will be what will be the result so we are processing a root node 20 now let's move forward for the next step that is step number 3 and let's call a function in order recursively by passing a right child of a current root node that is 20 20 is right child we are going to pass as a parameter and will become a root node in another block or in the next block so now let's see how all these things are going to happen so from this uh, till the function is not completed this execution is not completed after keeping this copy as it is the another function uh, recursively will get call and here what what is uh, or which node is going to become a root node so root node is 30 now let's start with the first condition whether root is not equal to null yes the condition is true so now let's move to the step number one step number one is again to call a function in order recursively by passing its left child as a parameter so 30 is a root node 30 is left child is 50 and here you can see that i am going to pass this 50 as a parameter to the function here you can see that again as uh, we are we are going to uh, call the function recursively by keeping this function as it is we are making a function call to in order recursively and here now my root node is 50 for this block my root node will be 50 let's check again the condition if my root is not equal to null the condition is true let's call a function call to the left child of a 50 of 50 that is which one is your current root node here you can see that 50 is left child is null there is no any left child is present to 50 so that's why what we supposed to do we will call a function it is nothing but null it will return back to the next statement and what we have to do we have to process a root node so which one is the root node root node is nothing but 50 let's process root node 50 and let's move to the next statement here we supposed to pass a right child of 50 as a parameter so which one is the right child here you can see that no any right child is present it means that the right child is null after passing this 50 as a right child what will happen it is null it will return back to the next statement next statement is nothing but the completion of this if condition and ultimately it will complete the function call as well okay now you can see over here he, this is the function call which is fully executed now where it will return back so it will return back to the function from where this function was called so uh, this block is generated by calling from the function in order where root node is 30 so where it will return back it will return back to this block here you can see that i am going to explain you all these things with the animation so here you can see that this arrow is showing that this is the function execution is completed and we are returning back from this block to the block where from where we have called the function so now it is returning back and now again 30 will play a role of a root node after returning back where it will go it will go to the next statement next statement is nothing but the processing of a root node so what it will process what it will display it will display 30 as the result so here you can see that in an order traversal we have displayed 30 over here now let's move forward for the next here i'm uh, going for the next statement statement number three is nothing but calling of a in order function again recursively by passing 30 is right child so right child of 30 is nothing but here you can see that right child of 30 is nothing but 60 so we are going to pass 60 as a parameter now let's see what is going to be happen now as we are calling this function recursively here you can see that i am calling a another block where my root node is 60 okay you can see over here so here this is the new block is called by the uh, this block where root node is 30 we have done with its left subtree now it is a turn to go for a right subtree or a right child so now currently my root node is 60 
let's check a condition whether my root node is not equal to null yes root node is not equal to null as my root node is 60 let's make a call recursive function call to in order function by passing the left child of 60 here you can see that what is the left child of 60 it is null so it will return back and it will go for the next statement where processing of the node is there what it will process currently we are at this particular block where the root node is 60 so it will process 60 and let's move forward for the next step where next node uh, next function call is nothing but in order function call where we supposed to call uh, the in order function recursively by passing the right child of a current root node that is 60 so right child is of a current root node 60 is nothing but null so what is going to be happen here you can see that uh, null is there so it will return back its next statement is nothing but the completion of the function now can you uh, uh, think about where it will return back after completion of this function call because now this function is completely executed where it will return back yes it will return back to the function where we have made a call so where it will return back it will return back to this particular block where uh, we called uh, from the root node 30 and here you can see that after completion of this function call it will return back to the next statement which one is the next statement is nothing but the completion of the if statement where the root node is 30 so now this function call is also completed where it will return back so here you can see that where it will return back from where yeah, the 30 was called the when the root node was 20 from the root node was 20 it was called and here we have done with the execution so where it will do where it will go it will return back to the function and now its execution is also completed because here you can see that 20 is right subtree we have done as we have done with the right 20 is right subtree it will it will return back to where it should have to return back to from where this 20 was called so he, he are jumping of the function or the cur, uh, control from the recursive function call where root node is 30 to the root node is 20 and here after jumping return back we have done with its completion now where it will go it will return back from where we made the call to 20, 20 uh, from where we made the call to 20 from 10 so it will return back to 10 and it will go for the next statement execution now here you can see that the next statement is nothing but processing of a root node so what it will process currently this is nothing but the active zone active block where the root node is 10 and now let's display 10 over here in this in order traversal i'm displaying 10 over here and it will go for the next statement next statement is nothing but calling of function recursively by passing right child of a current root node which one is the right child of a current root node is nothing but 40 so now let's pass 40 to the function call it will create a separate block again where a root node is 40 you can see over here now let's start with the execution of this function the first condition is root is not equal to null yes the condition is true because my root is not equal to null because it is 40 now my first step is to call a function recursively by passing the left child of 40 here you can see that no any left child of 40 is present it is null now if it is null it will return back to the next statement and next statement is nothing but processing of a root node so what it will process it will process a current root node which is nothing but 40 so here you can see that we have processed the root node 40 just uh, return back and go for the next statement which is nothing but in order function uh, calling of in order function where we supposed to pass the right child as a parameter to the function uh, whose right child current root node 40 is right child so here you can see that right child is also null so what it will do it will uh, call a function but the root node is null it will return back to the next statement and next statement is nothing but the completion of the execution so now after this what it will do it as you can see over here the uh, execution of the function is completed and where it should have to return back it should have to return back from where the function was called so it will return back to this particular block here you can see that i have given the animation to show the same thing so it is returning back and 
uh, it will show you the completion or the complete execution of the function in order where root node was 10 and simultaneously here you can see that we have done with the all the nodes and in order traversal is 20 50 30 60 10 40 so in this way we have traversed the tree with recursion and in in order so thank you dear friends for listening and watching my video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment here i am providing you the subscription link please do subscribe my channel tech talks along with this i am providing you the shortcut link for the next video of this video series along with the playlist of this tree data structure thank you and stay tuned with tech talks thank you